Hey there everyone, that sexy nerd is back again! And... I don't know everyone, I can't even be serious about this one. Spongebob versus Aquaman. What can I say? It's like a Rick and Morty episode. <laughs> oh, um, so... Apparently it's gonna be original Aquaman, like Super Friends Aquaman, like... If you ever watch Big Bang Theory, when Raj was riding on the uh, riding on the seahorse Aquaman <laughs> costume, that that ah, uh, I am I, I I honestly think Aquaman might have it, but SpongeBob is technically indestructible, so it's anybody's fight. It's really anybody's fight at this point, and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if SpongeBob got like a big cannon and like just blew Aquaman away. <laughs> Oh, but I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. Cartoon characters, like, seriously, even Pinkie Pie could go up against Deadpool. Like, like we, we saw that fight. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, Death Battle always has, I guess this is their weird fight, but I don't, see, I don't even see it as that weird. I'm like, I'm really concerned about who might win. But anyway, let's just get into the episode. And remember, please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy, nerdy content. And please subscribe if you think I deserve it. For that out of the way, let's just get into the episode. SpongeBob SquarePants, <laughs> number one nautical nincompoop. I mean, it might, it actually, it still sounds weird when SpongeBob is being introduced through. <laughs> Metal music, but remember, I I think Panthera actually came on one of the episodes of SpongeBob, so metal kind of fits. Man, the Thalassic third wheel of the Super Friends. Oh, Thalassic means ocean. I looked it up. The infinite ink black depths of the seven seas are home to any <sighs> number of terrifying, awe-inspiring creatures. Oh, You're man. also home to these two losers. Though when it comes to cartoon characters, there's always more hidden beneath the waves. That's right, we're prioritizing the cartoons for maximum tune for shenanigans! Sounds like it. He's you can't not boomstick. do that. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh boy. SpongeBob's gonna slaughter The year was 1946. <laughs> the former allies of World War II were engaged in a cold war between capitalist West and communist East. The United States changed history forever with the introduction of the atomic bomb, a weapon of unparalleled nuclear devastation. One of their most popular <laughs> test spots, the site of 23 <laughs> separate detonations over the course of 12 years for a total fission yield of 42.2 megatons, with Bikini Atoll in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The results were ecological <laughs> devastation and perhaps something more deep beneath the Who's atoll, the fauna <laughs> began to change. They evolved, becoming sentient, forming language, technology, <laughs> and society. This bikini bottom organized into a monarchy of the god king Neptune. It developed a free market economy and a thriving artistic culture. Even the simplest underwater creatures. For the longest time, I thought this was just the origin to Aquaman because I, I think that's when, I mean, I've I forgot though, because I think that ca a cartoon came out in the 60s, so, jeez. ...became capable of complex thought, including the very first multicellular organism to be categorized as part of the animal kingdom, the sea sponge. <laughs> SpongeBob! Sponge in particular, the greatest among them, lives in a pineapple under the sea. Oh! SpongeBob yeah. SquarePants. No, oh, I wanted to sing this song. Me too. I don't know about greatest. SpongeBob may headline one of the most popular children's cartoons of all time, but he's a total dork. He's a painfully naive. SpongeBob is 36. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. Man child whose uh, only ambition in life is uh, to continue his minimum wage job 36. as a fry cook at the Krusty Krab. Really sounding like a Squidward there, Wiz. Yeah. And no one wants to be a Squidward. Seriously. Bunch Robert might not have the flashiest life, but he's happy. And that's what matters, ain't it? Not in Death Battle, it doesn't. SpongeBob is routinely physically incapable of even the most basic tasks. Almost like anti tune Force. He's the biggest wimp in town. Like the time he failed to lift a glass of lemonade. Or the time a school bully gave him diarrhea. Or the time he effortlessly rotated yeah. the entire planet. Ah, uh -huh, exactly. Huh. Oh, there we're it is. For some shit now, aren't yes, we? we are. Despite being a real sea creature, SpongeBob. 
they've always depicted him as weak, but SpongeBob has actually made like some really crazy ass feats. It's weird. Bob is more like a kitchen sponge. Absorbent and yellow and porous is he after all. He can stretch and shape shift his body any way he likes, duplicate himself through asexual reproduction, and absorb immense amounts of liquid. Wouldn't he always be full though? From an entire lagoon to, oh God, enough water to replace the moon? What? Oh, and for some reason he has an insane healing factor. He survived being yep. torn in half, mm -hmm. vaporized, having his soul removed from his body, mm -hmm. and literally being unraveled out of existence. Okay, I think we're good. We can just uh, end the rundown here. No. I need to see how deep this rabbit hole goes. <laughs> Perhaps his most mind-bending ability is his control over bubbles. No, stay with bubbles. me. This is unbelievable. Like a soapy green lantern ring, his bubbles can become anything he wishes. <laughs> from guided cruise missiles to sentient uh. life and entire bubble societies. That's a pretty similar effect to his magic pencil. pencil. Oh, you're giving him the pencil? That's just not even and fair. Erase it from reality just as easily. The pencil That's was not so fair. powerful. SpongeBob Poor sent Aquaman. it back to the surface where it belonged. But in later seasons, he still just has it for some reason. What? Finished. I call him Doodle Wiz. Wiz, he's just like you. But I made him with a pencil. No, I think I... <laughs> I'm calling the police. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Even the mundane becomes godlike in SpongeBob's yellow <laughs> hands. Like his reef blower, which hoovered up the entirety of Earth's oceans in seconds and then exploded on top of SpongeBob all at once. It's estimated Ugh. the entire mass of Earth's oceans is about 1.5 quintillion tons. tons. Considering all the water refilled the planet in about one second, that'd be a kinetic energy of over 6,000 Yoda tons. That's enough energy to nuke Jupiter 13 times over. And SpongeBob was completely, completely fine. His hydrodynamic spatula isn't just an impromptu bladed weapon. It's also his primary instrument to create the greatest foodstuff Bikini Bottom has ever seen. Krabby the Patty. Krabby Patty. A burger so delicious, it's basically magic. Not only is it totally addictive, SpongeBob was romantically attracted to one. It can nullify wow. mind control, heal wounds, and even detonate. SpongeBob has survived nukes point blank, hugged his best friend Patrick so hard their DNA fused, can ride on the scene transitions, and once cried so hard he flooded Bikini Bottom, even though it's already, already underwater. underwater. Shit, he once grabbed a hold of this mysterious string and unraveled the entire universe. What? He literally undid the fabric of reality in seconds. What the f***? What was yeah. that you were saying about anti-tune force? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not sure I've ever yeah. misjudged a character as severely as... I SpongeBob SquarePants. Nice character arc there, Wiz. Unfortunately <laughs> for Roberto, the rest of the town only saw the goofy goober on the outside. It took more than one adventure to prove himself to be a real hero. You think he ever banged that squirrel? He's crushed oh, of course he Plan did. Z, won the Battle of Bikini Bottom against an army of killer robots, and even teamed up with fellow Nickelodeon stars Timmy Turner, Jimmy <laughs> Neutron, and Danny Phantom oh, to save the Nicktoons multi. Which is really funny. All those are pretty. All those characters are pretty powerful in their own right. His biggest weakness is that he's a giant, suicidally naive <laughs> idiot. And depending on the humidity of the atmosphere <laughs> around him, being out of the water can dehydrate and permanently incapacitate him. Oh, oh, also seasonal rot. Those first three seasons are pure gold, but after that, oh boy. There's this one episode called Squid Baby where Squidward gets brain damaged into a giant baby and shits himself on screen. What are you talking about? Oh, right. <clears throat> Trials and tribulations and Hasselhoffs aside, it wasn't until Spongebob accepted himself for who he was I'm a goofy that he was with the greatest boon of all, middle management. Woo! So if none of the nonsense be something you wish, then pray to your yellow porous god for mercy because his whimsical laughter is the last thing you'll ever hear. Yay, 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 yay. Aquaman, Jesus. king of the seven seas. We've covered Arthur Curry on the show before, and he's actually oh. secretly awesome. That's right, Boomstick. But the version we're dealing with today is from the, the cartoon. cartoons from the 60s and 70s. Now, you might assume that means this Aquaman is a total loser. But uh, really, no. have you watched all those cartoons? Remember, yeah. this is from the era when Superman was sneezing solar systems apart. Yep. So, get ready. <laughs> Arts origin. <laughs> You're about, I don't know if any of you watched my, my very 
very first death battle, but it, like that 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 whole scene just had me go on a rant just for no reason. It's like the Superboy uh, also can also sneeze the planets out of existence. My <laughs> oh, that's the craziest thing. Imagine what Aquaman can do. It is basically the same as the Silver Age comics. Tom Curry was a humble lighthouse keeper who decided one day to fuck a fish. He did not. Do well, he did that. not. He, <clears throat> he did not fuck a fish. Created with Atlanta, an Atlantean from the underwater city of Poseidonus, and from their union, Arthur Curry was born with magnificent aquatic <laughs> abilities. And he's the king of Atlantis too. Oh wait, no. It says here that was introduced in the comics later. Here he's really just some guy. With magnificent aquatic abilities and a giant mutant seahorse that neighs just like a land horse. This Aquaman comes from a time when everybody who's anybody had their own secret cave with a sort of Batman. He's got an underwater jet ski, a net, octopus ink, a water pistol, and a portable heat ray to blast right through solid ice. Not exactly mind blowing, but. You know, I'm sure we're ramping up. We sure are. Aquaman's hybrid human Atlantean biology grants him superhuman strength and the ability to breathe underwater indefinitely and withstand the crushing depths of the ocean floor. The pressure at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is 16,000 pounds per square inch. Wow. That's like being stepped on by a hundred elephants, which, which is a lot, I, I guess. Aquaman is also an incredible swimmer, able to travel from Florida to Maine in under an hour. Really? That's almost twice the speed of sound. Wow. You can create water balls and whirlpools out of thin water, and fittingly, water-based attacks are completely ineffective against him. And of course, you can't forget his aquatic telepathy. He can talk <laughs> to fish, and he can even control people's minds and give them seizures, right? Oh, actually, that second part is also just from the comics. Yeah. Cartoon Aquaman can talk to fish which yeah. is awesome his telepathy can reach several miles summon hundreds of sea creatures at once and works on anything from microscopic organisms to alien life as long as it's aquatic alien life of course <laughs> aquatic but he can still mind control them right kind of he yeah can free them from mind control and even influence their emotional state to some degree but besides that there have been times when sea creatures have just ignored his commands outright. Wiz, I'm gonna be straight with wow. you. You haven't said anything remotely mind-blowing yet. Yeah. Does Aquaman actually suck? Hold your seahorses. Kinda does. Aquaman's exploits were so world-renowned, he banded together with Earth's mightiest heroes to form a team capable of defending the planet, nay, the universe, from any threat. The Super Friends. The Super Friends. They're like the dime store knockoff version of the Justice League. What? No, no. You've got heavy hitters like Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman. Mm hmm. Keep going. Flash, Green Lantern. Uh huh. Apache Chief. Yeah. Samurai, Black Vulcan, the, the Wonder Twins. Yeah. And their pet monkey Glee. Whiz. Stop. Nope. You're no. embarrassing yourself. No, wait, his best direct strength feat was when he, uh, moved some trash. About 50 metric tons See, of it. See, SpongeBob is uh, the so the winner. The themselves, huh? Yeah. Fun fact, Aquaman once enrolled in an American college under the name Mr. Waterman. So we're working with a pretty hefty IQ here, huh? Okay, so he's lame, and arguably completely lame. I was convinced I'd find some crazy, insane Popeye punching out the animator feet somewhere, but no, he sucks. He actually, actually sucks. His best feet is literally garbage. I'll uh, take over from here, Wiz. Aquaman is a bit of a joke, sure, but he's not completely useless. He's dodged laser beams, defeated a living Titanic by luring it into an iceberg, seriously, and beaten what? this water elemental Undyne, who looks like a gorilla for some reason, uh, by summoning seagulls to pelt her with clamshells. He once even outswam this Kryptonian pterodactyl monster, Rokan, who flew from the edge of the galaxy to Earth in about 15 seconds. What? Wait, wait really? Uh, okay, okay, now we're talking. That'd be over 55 billion times the speed of light, and Aquaman swimming clearly outmatched that. It doesn't matter if it looks lame. You get one, buddy. And, hey, he could probably kick your ass, person that's watching at home, so... Probably. That's something. Well, not if he's on dry land. Uh, if he's out of the water for even one hour, he dies. Never mind, person watching at home, Never just uh, hide for a bit, grab some lunch, and then uh, stomp on his corpse. But is raw power really what makes someone a hero? Or is it the drive to help 
others, to be of service, to this sacrifice. This Aquaman always sucks. That's what sucks. a hero is to me, and I'd say Aquaman's got as much of that as there are drops of water in the ocean. The ocean. Oh my he's god. He's about to die. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah he's about to die. And we've run the data through all possibility. One. One possibility. It's time for Aquaman's funeral! Oh boy. Oh no. What the hell? Mermaid Man! Wait a second, you're not Mermaid Man. The name's Aquaman, evildoer! Evildoer? <laughs> yeah, he sounds good. I saved this city! I won! <laughs> There's only one real hero here, fiend. And he... So yeah, this is basically Spongebob versus Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! A super friend! You see, sir, I'm a sea oh. sponge, phylum porifera, and you can't just... Oh! How okay, about then. a little karate, Waterman? It's Aquaman! <laughs> okay. Cheater! He's a sea creature, and as the king of the seas, he's mine to command. I wasn't just reaching out to you, Sponge. Let him have it, chums. Oh. Great <laughs> Neptune! Get a load of this, sea man! Oh! Damn it! It's up! Whoa! Whoa! Need water powers fading. Is there nothing I could do? The man. I see it now. A multiverse of Aquaman, and out of all of them. I'm the lamest fucking <laughs> one! Yeah. A ripoff. A joke. I'm no superhero. People used to say the same kind of things about me. Goofball, wingnut, knucklehead McSpazitron. But every day, I get back up and say two words. I'm ready. What a douche. May the best hero win. Oh. What? What the hell? Oh. The other side of the universe. <laughs> Weirdly awesome. It was weirdly awesome. <laughs> but SpongeBob won. Don't yeah. cry, Sponge. Let's be super. Was number Is one. It with ridiculously OP nautical themed cartoon characters on this show, Wiz. <laughs> this was an incredibly close fight. No, it wasn't. Gotcha! Obviously, Aquaman didn't have a snowball's chance in hell in defeating this little spongy bastitch. Where do we even start? With his bubbles and magic pencils, SpongeBob could basically do anything he wanted. There was no way Aquaman wouldn't get totally overwhelmed, especially with his much more limited arsenal. I can't think of a more lopsided matchup than someone whose main attack is throwing water against a sentient sea sponge. Aquaman's only potential option was his telepathy, but as we've covered, it's far less 
less powerful than his comic counterpart. There's no reason to believe SpongeBob wouldn't just ignore Arthur's command. That's Even if true. it was straight up mind control, SpongeBob's Krabby Patties straight up cancel mind control. And really, nothing Aquaman had could overcome Bob's mm. utterly broken regeneration. The little yellow dude has survived being completely disintegrated into dust Whoa. and even erased from reality. All Aquaman can do is punch kind of hard and even that's basically useless against Bob's squishy body. Yeah. Maybe Aquaman could have found a way to dehydrate SpongeBob enough to keep him permanently incapacitated, like when he and Patrick were trapped in Shell City. But that would require the fight to take place out of the water, which messes Aquaman up way harder than it does SpongeBob. <laughs> and it also require the fight doesn't instantly end up with SpongeBob karate chopping Aquaman at ten shit zillion times the speed of light, splattering his atoms against Saturn. Cause yeah, remember when SpongeBob unraveled the universe? Oh, yeah. Considering the- No, I'm sorry, I need to do this one. This is, this is fucking insane. Mm -hmm. Compared to SpongeBob's size, the string's width is about 192 micrometers. We can use that to find the volume of, say, one meter of string, and compare that to the volume of the entire observable universe. Whoa! Considering it took SpongeBob about five seconds, he would have had to be pulling at 8.2 times 10 to the 78th power times faster than light. I think we found the most powerful character on Death Battle. <sighs> That's as many times faster than light as there are atoms in the universe. Jesus! This is the fastest calculable speed feat in our show's history. Uh, yeah! And it belongs to SpongeBob, SpongeBob. SquarePants. <laughs> but do you think he could take on comic book Aquaman? Yes! Have you been listening to anything I've been saying? Good point, because let's not forget. Of course I didn't forget. That string feat also destroyed the entire universe. And stuff like that is actually consistent. SpongeBob yeah. is literally aware of the fourth wall and has rewritten the plot of his own story as he's living it. What? Through the pencil or the bubbles, he can just will oh my God, he's even he better wants than into existence from his imagination. He's a god, a yellow, spongy god, god. of death. And that's why he beats Goku. Mm. At least Arthur finally got to be a real hero. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. Yeah, sure, whatever, pal. He's dead. Too bad for the king of the seas. That sure was one sweet victory. The winner is SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants, Square Pants. our god. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you for... Jason? Yes! Yes! Oh, hell yes! Oh, God, that got me so excited. Jason versus Michael Myers. Woo! Oh, man. Imagine if they do that in 3D. They got to do that shit in 3D. They just do. Because, mm, if they if they do that in 3D, they, they have to, because they're not wildly powerful characters they're just weirdly indestructible um yeah seriously I, can anything kill those two like they even blew jason up but somebody ate his heart and his soul got transferred into another person's body what the hell jason's won J i think jason won that fight by the way i i think he, he's the winner but yeah I don't think, because Michael has never really resurrected himself from anything, but Jason has. <laughs> and he's never gone up against an army. So, there's that too. But then, what if they, and if they incorporate Uber Jason, Michael ain't got a chance. Michael will get sliced up. Even if he is weirdly immortal, he's going to be ahead. <laughs> but anyway, I, I love, that. that's my, that's my, that's my bread and butter. The uh, I love horror uh, horror movies and horror movie icons. That's how this whole nerdy stuff started. Oh man! Um, but yeah, <laughs> I love it. SpongeBob is basically a god. I had no idea that he had unraveled the universe. Like that was what. So yeah, like we got to put him up against the mask. <laughs> That's the only person I think could ever stand a chance against SpongeBob. Yeah. Not even Dark Side, not even Dark Side on here. It's like the most powerful characters that we've had on this show: Apocalypse, Dark Side. <laughs> no, none of those characters can beat a SpongeBob. Apparently, <laughs> or Aquaman. I, I didn't. St I, I, I'm an idiot for saying that he he could have stood a chance because I, I remember those cartoons. I was like, yeah, I thought Aquaman was a lot stronger, but. 
I would always defend him too, but I'm like, yeah, yeah, that Aquaman really sucks. Oh boy. But anyway, <laughs> I'll I'll see y'all in the next video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content. This is a good episode. I I, I ain't gonna lie. And I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs>